and you you have given us some ideas. Uh, we can write our Congress people, we can write our senators, but would you please explain to me and the audience what the reconciliation of the Congress means and if you think that this tactic will be used with health care. Well, reconciliation is in the Senate is, with, is not the same as what you read in theology books. I can tell you that right now. Uh, what it is is, is the so-called nuclear option, and it's a way for the Senate uh, to make sure that it does not need 60 votes in order to pass this. In other words, all you need is 51 votes. Reconciliation was used. Um, let me just let me just stop right there. Okay, that's what reconciliation is. You just find a strategic way to get around the 60 votes that are needed to cut off the date and proceed to the final final vote. Did, did that answer your question, Dee? Yeah. But do you also think that this is something that will become a possibility with um, with what's on the table right now? Well, I don't know. I mean, the Senate has no rules. They, they really don't. In fact, I talked to I talked to Diana Anzi, whose husband, Senator Mike Anzi from Wyoming is on that group of, what, eight members? Uh, six members. A, a six members. And there was a vote that took place along party lines. There's no written bill. There's nothing in writing. They were asked to vote upon concepts, and they were told by the Democratic leader of that group that they would fill in the blanks later.